Good morning. Welcome to Monday Morning Coffee with Melissa. I'm your host, Melissa. Cheers. This morning's Monday Morning Coffee episode is sponsored by Honeybee Wellness's one-on-one health coaching program. If you want to minimize your anxiety, have more energy, more mental clarity, and maybe lose a few pounds, one-on-one health coaching just might be a good fit for you. So throughout the 12 week program, you and I will meet on a weekly basis over Zoom for up to a 60 minute health coaching session. During these sessions, we'll talk about whatever is on your mind, and I will guide you through a process of helping you to create sustainable, healthy lifestyle habits that support your goals and align with your core values. So you'll also receive complimentary access to our online wellness abundance program, which will provide you with the education to help you along your journey, um, education on how the body works, the benefits of getting vitamin D, like sitting in the sun and anxiety and minimizing your anxiety and finding foods that really help support your health goals, support your body and all that good stuff. So if you want to explore the idea of one-on-one health coaching, I invite you to email me at melissa at honeybee.kitchen and you and I will set up a time that works best for both of us to uh, chat over Zoom or over the phone and um, I'll answer any questions you have and I'll see if you're a good fit for my program. Okay, continuing on with the Mr. Rogers series. Oh, I love this series. It's so exciting. Um, So I think it was in the movie when the journalist, and I still can't remember his name, um, when he was interviewing Fred Rogers and he asked him basically like, and I'm not quoting this question exactly, just so you know, just full disclaimer. um, He asked him basically like, why are you doing this? Why, Why the children's television show? Like, what are you doing with this? And Mr. Rogers said, we're trying to give, and I quote, we're trying to give children positive ways to deal with their feelings, end quote. And I thought that's so incredible. Like Mr. Rogers, that's just so brilliant because children need to know that life isn't perfect. It's not... um, it's not all rainbows and exciting and, you know, all that stuff. It's not like that all the time. And they talk about like death and divorce and illness and all these things and the different feelings like feeling mad and angry and sad and frustrated and confused and, and, you know, I, and I think it's really important for children, for us to learn as human beings, as a child, how to deal with feelings, you know, and it's, uh, it's really important also to explore ways that you can express your feelings. You know, for so many years, I always just like suppress my feelings. You know, that's the anxiety in me, wanting to have control over everything and also the people pleaser in me, you know, and people, I truly believe people pleasers, people pleasing and anxiety go hand in hand. If you anxiety, have anxiety, you probably have, you probably are a people pleaser because people pleasers do not like conflict. So of course, what are you going to do if you're a people pleaser? You're going to suppress your emotions. You're not going to express them like they should be expressed. And then um, you're going to have anxiety over it because you're going to want to control it, but you don't have any control over it. And then all of a sudden you just burst and everything comes bubbling up to the surface and it's usually not good. That's why you really have to 
um, express your emotions as you're feeling them if it's appropriate. So for example, you're not going to yell at your boss. You're not, I mean, you could yell at your spouse, your partner, but it's, I, I don't know. We try not, we, my husband and I are actually pretty good at not yelling at each other. It's very rare, um, that that happens. I don't even know if he's ever yelled at me ever. Um, but anyways, I digress. Um, but it's just really important to find ways to express your feelings. Um, and I, I think this is, this was so brilliant that what Mr. Rogers did was because children need to know it's okay to express your feelings so often as adults, you know, and I hear this, especially with men, you have to bottle up your feelings. Don't let your emotions show, be strong, be brave. Well, oftentimes being strong and being brave means expressing your emotions, not suppressing them. So I feel like this is a very, very valuable lesson. So an exercise I have for you is to write a journal entry or just a paragraph if you don't journal um, at this time, just write out how you express your feelings. And if you don't express your feelings, write out how you would like to express your feelings. For example, for me, when you know, when I'm getting frustrated with something like a task I'm doing, I will walk away from it. I'll go for a walk. I'll go do something else. If I have a jigsaw puzzle going at the time, I'll go work on my jigsaw puzzle. Um, if I'm feeling sad and I'm in an appropriate environment, I'll cry. I'll just cry and let it out. If I'm angry, I'll be like, you know, and sometimes in the morning, if I wake up and I'm not in a good mood for whatever reason, I'm feeling very anxious, I'll go for a walk, I'll go for a hike. Find ways, make a list of ways that realistically you can express your feelings without harming yourself or others, okay? Um, go back and watch my video about how, about adult temper tantrums. You know, that is so, that's, that was a game changer in my life with expressing my feelings. Um, so anyway, I just love the quote. I'm going to just read it again from Mr. Rogers. We're trying to give children positive ways to deal with their feelings. I love this. I love Mr. Rogers. So the series continues and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.